man, any woman, because I have studied the issue of seeking the face of God for a long time. I wanted to see how I could teach to help believers to know how to tap into secrets. And I found out that if you have not accepted the life of intercession, the ministry of intercession as a baseline lifestyle, it will be very difficult for you to access the mind of God. The average believer has not accepted the ministry of intercession, which is a basic ministry that we have been called into. Now, this is a, this is status quo in the spirit. Listen to me. The word justification is a legal register. It's a legal word. And justification means you are discharged and acquitted. It is our justification that makes us have the capacity through the blood of Jesus to stand before God boldly and without any form of inferiority, any form of condemnation because of the testimony that is born in the spirit through justification. You see, so the effect of justification is that I can stand before God face to face. The result of justification is supposed to be interaction with God, talking with God, talking, talking. So if your justification does not translate to communication, you have missed a fundamental lesson in your intimacy with God. Your justification is a standing that you have with God on the account of the blood of Jesus. That standing should translate to communication. And so every believer has been called into the ministry of intercession. All right? That's what we do. That's the life we live. If you check the apostolic community in the book of Acts of the Apostles, you are going to see the twofold, twofold ministry of the apostolic company. Peter was the one that said, we will give ourselves continually to the ministry of the word and the ministry of prayer. In fact, if you look into those two items critically, you will find out that the word of God comes into force when prayer is already in place. So the heaviest molecule of the Christian life is priesthood, is prayer. So if someone has not yet situated his or herself in the prayer base, your access of even revelations into the scriptures will be limited. So for many years, I decided to leave as an intercessor. If I'm going to travel from here to Jaws, I speak in tongues all through. Yes, that's the life. That's the lifestyle. I speak in tongues all through. That's why I like public transport. I just take my bag and I pay the price. And I get a comfortable seat. If they are sitting four in the middle row, I pay for two seats. Hey, glory. You say, this guy has money. I'm looking for a connection. And I begin to pray in tongues. I begin to pray in tongues. I begin to pray in tongues. By the time we get to Akwanga, I'm seeing things I did not ask God for. Many of you, I see you in the night. I see you. What I told you that day was not that day I saw it. I saw it in Gombe. Just in my own personal prayer with God, things will just start coming. Things will start coming. And if I'm asking God for, for something, that thing is harder to locate than the things I see. It's harder. So if you have not yet established your life on the bouncing burner called intercession, nothing will be cooked. Mm. There will be no heat. No heat sufficient to cook anything. So day in day out, we'll be operating with the wisdom of man. Meanwhile, spiritual things must be revealed and secrets have been kept in the archives of God through which your life will be prepared through any season whatsoever. If we were running prayer meeting now, we won't be like this. You know, yesterday I said there's healing and miracle. Ah, there's a guy that's That's why. But I'll tell you the truth. There's nothing else we are using to minister to anybody other than the fact that we are men of prayer. It's in the place of prayer that I got that the spirit of death was coming into the hall today. I did not get it. Yes, it's in the place of prayer. I picked it up. Because I'd like to see a meeting before the meeting. So, so this even the meeting exists in God's secret archive. You can peep into it. There were meetings where I came, I already saw the meeting, I already knew where an angel would stand. So because I knew where the angel would stand, when I finished, I preached, preached, came to a point, I told them that we can circle this place. I called one sister, stand there, she fell off. Call another one, stand there, she fell off. It's only me that knows why they are falling. <laughs> secret. Meanwhile, they think I'm a powerful man. All I have, secret. The reason why you are surprised because you don't know what is happening. Even I told you that, see, oh, see, it will not look strange to you. But I'm the only one that knows the secret. I won't tell you. But you'll be seeing the manifestation of the secret. You can see somebody's life under the same circumstances. The manifestation of his life suggests stability, suggests strength. That's the result of the secret he's working with. Please help me ask your neighbor, what secret do you have? Full of men are everywhere, killing everybody. It is a time you need secrets to survive. If 
you have not yet accepted the call as an intercessor, don't ask for too much. Your life won't be too different from what it is now. Uh, yes. The bouncing burner of intercession is what now puts you strategically in the place where you can now begin to access secrets. In my opinion, if you are not an intercessor, I don't think you are desperate enough for life. You are not. You are a comic. You are a comic cafe. You know they do Batman and Superman. You are one of them. <laughs> but when you start getting serious, you now begin to intercede. Intercession is. A, you see, intercession is not as if you are praying for yourself. You are praying God's prayers. You are praying God's prayers. You are praying God's prayers. That is. Some of you, the places that you are serving, the offices you are serving, you were just placed there as an intercessor to be offering incense of so that mad people will not use some of those platforms to bring the nation into abject poverty so you are standing there as a mm, mm, as we begin to operate as intercessors there's enough heat in our spirit so that if the holy spirit wants to bring secrets to us it can easily come most of us decided to sign up for a serious prayer life when marriage was at the door and so the reason why you are praying is because you want to marry that prayer will receive no answer. It will even generate more confusion. Because you have forgotten step one, you want to enter into step three. You will be confused when you label like that. You say, okay, I'm, I, I'm looking. As we finish with label, then four people will come and say, God told me. <laughs> God told me. First of all, sign up as an intercessor. An intercessor is not looking for anything. He just wants to pray God's prayers. All right? So that's our default mode. That's what we do. Huh? Secrets are revealed to intercessors. If you have ever read the scripture, the Bible says that God will never do a thing except he reveals it to his servants, the prophets. I'm talking about prophets in active service, not prophets by title. You, you know, he called them his servants, the prophets, so they're in active service. There are a lot of people that are prophets that are no longer in, in service. So those ones, he, he bypasses them. What that scripture suggests is that because the major, the basic assignment of a prophet is intercession. Anybody that is doing the work of the prophet, which is intercession, if God wants to do anything, he will never do it except he discloses it to the intercessor. There is a call that God is making on us. Since the devil has decided to raise the bar of warfare, we are also called to raise the bar of our stand with God. And each and every one of us that is justified must take advantage of the privileged platform that God has given you to stand before him without condemnation, stand before him without without inferiority we must translate that benefit to be a benefit that affords us communication and so we must adopt and partake in the call for intercession that's the first requirement for seeking the face of god you must first be involved in praying god's prayers before you can now start to pray your prayers if you start your prayer life by praying your prayers because i've seen a lot of prayer booklets prayer reign and everything is about me eh? Now that thing that is fighting my life, that thing, every prayer on that prayer item is personal. If you start your prayer endeavors from the personal plane, you are going to get so confused. Because the reason for which God set up intercession is not for your personal prayers. The reason for which God set up intercession is for his own prayers. You see, prayer in its original form and context is a kingdom activity. It is something that facilitates the implementation of the policy direction of the kingdom of heaven. The Bible says thy will be done on earth as it is done where in heaven prayer now creates an avenue for the will of god which has been decreed in the heaven to pass into the earth and be established in the earth so prayer is a kingdom thing it is required for god to administer his purpose in the earth that means god needs prayer in the earth for him to be able to implement his, his policy an intercessor is that bridge that gives god the legitimacy to establish his will because in this realm that is governed by humankind we have joined our will to the will of God to see his will come to pass in our space. So an intercessor is a veritable tool in the hand of God in the implementation of the purposes of God upon the face of the earth. Such a person has decided to, to be a co-laborer with God. And because of that level of partnership, God once and again discloses to that individual secrets that will put him on the advantage. You don't qualify to access secrets if you have not yet decided to become a resourceful Christian by accepting our call to intercession. Most of your prayers are personal. That's why they are not powerful. I have been an intercessor for half my life. Alright? For half my life. 
actually half my life plus three years i've been an intercessor for 23 years okay i can tell you this fact one most of my prayers i pray for people i pray for god's purposes that i perceive that's most of my prayers 70 percent of my prayers i pray for people i can be i was in gombe i started seeing you yeah most of my prayers that's how it is so sometimes god brings people to me in prayer and i begin to pray for them i don't even know what i'm praying about most of my prayers 70 percent of them now 10 percent of my prayers are warfare sometimes god comes to alert me and say there's a problem here problem there problem in this person's life then when you begin to pray for the person you begin to see the devil will begin to speak back and say no i have legitimacy here and then 10 percent of my prayers is that way most 70 percent of my prayers is intercession this is what happens i found out that okay maybe i have a need there are several times i bring the need into god's presence and then while i'm praying on the need the need does not stay the Holy Ghost will brush it out and bring another thing i've learned by experience that when he brushes it out i leave it i begin to pray on that thing all right a time comes if god needs me to vocalize something for him to do something in my life he brings down my need himself i'll be praying for something else then he brings down my need say pray on this one now pray now pray now then i begin to pray on it and a few days later it will come to pass listen when i sat there we're praying i was praying on many things because right now they are tabulating our promotion whether we promoted or not i'm supposed to be right, the list is not here i sat there and i saw the list i've tried to pray for that promotion he has not allowed me if i start praying i go somewhere else. i start praying i go somewhere else. so i left it but while we're praying here the the list I, I zoom let me announce before time i will show you the letter i pass from that what i saw i, I was promoted no wait first now wait Come down. i will add substance to this my declaration with a letter soon i saw it it zoom hey, you see and i didn't pray about it i was praying about something else i saw that oh it may be that somebody has prayed about it yes maybe god i would put that body on somebody's heart and then the person i've been laboring and then you see you must understand you have to be selfless in the prosecution of prayer if you have not yet come to that point where you embrace intercession many people have looked at us because we pray every day we pray people ah, they'll pass there'll be some people will laugh and say oh this is their own church the way that they do this their own church for this mark now nah, it's different every day now nah, whoa, 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 whoa. those are the things we hear but if you take your bible and look at the book of acts of the apostles those guys had no ak-47 but they were able to fill jerusalem with their doctrine is it because they were such wonderful theologians there was something else that was pushing the gates were open that were pushing the utterances that they were speaking so if you have not yet accepted the call as an intercessor you are going to find it very difficult to access secrets number two You must understand that the body, the major body of intercessory people is this. When you begin to intercede, 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 sometimes God empowers you to become a law enforcement agent by giving you an instruction. Okay, we're interceding about the land right now. Then he gives us an instruction. You go and do this thing. So when we go and we obey and do that thing, I hope you know in working with God that is a spirit, it is in obedience obedience to the spirit of god that leads to the manifestation of his power he whispers into your ears and you obey him and then upon obeying him his power is manifested that's how the power of god is manifested so when we begin to intercede expect god giving you an instruction at some point yes this instruction that god is giving has the power of salvation in it so if you are somebody that even though you are interceding but you, are, you don't follow instructions that come from the holy ghost you rationalize instructions your output level is going to be small you see very little and uh, your access to the secret base of the spirit will be very very little first is the call to intercession second is a willingness to obey spiritual instructions that god releases on your spirit man in order for you to be safe when you have an instruction you need to check with your pastor check with um, a spiritual leader to help vet vet that instruction you are receiving if it's accurate and then receive his blessings to go and fulfill the instruction while we're praying today a few instructions dropped in my spirit or things that we need to do as intercessors to safeguard this land hallelujah now the, all this matter i'm saying is, is still selfless so the prayer you're praying the instructions you're following is it doesn't seem to address your own personal challenge yet 
if you are a believer that has that is obedient to god there is something that god will add on your life and that which he has is called favor you need favor to be able to access secrets and the child grew and worked strong in spirit and had favor between god is god first have you heard what gabriel said when angel gabriel was dispatched from heaven to come and give daniel information and then he was arrested the prince of persia kept him in the prison for 21 days and after 21 days michael was dispatched in heaven because daniel was still praying the same prayers he was praying meanwhile answers to the prayers have been deployed 21 days ago there's a malfunctioning somewhere so michael was dispatched only to discover that gabriel had been in prison michael intervened arrested the prince of Persia, opened the prison house said michael told gabriel yeah, you go and deliver your message i'll be here in the battle when you are done delivering the message come and join me so that we can displace this this evil spirit that was the day that gabriel appeared to daniel the first time you know prior to this time gabriel had been coming in dreams wait for daniel to sleep he will appear and begin to give him instruction but because of the nature of the situation gabriel decided to appear to daniel for the first time and what was the first thing that gabriel told daniel he said oh daniel oh daniel thou are highly favored your name is reigning in heaven you need that favor to be able to get a secret many of you don't have it so when you are coming the kind of aroma that comes from your spirit is not a sweet smelling savour. favor is like a perfume you know when jacob was praying for huh? when isaac was praying for jacob you know jacob disguised and came and received prayer you know he said something he said my son smells that's a spiritual smell my son smells like a field that the lord god has blessed he identified him by smell meanwhile the guy praying was blind but he could smell something that was not in the room he could smell something that transcended the environment he had a smell that is favor it's like a smell he said daniel your name is reigning in heaven because your name is reigning i have been dispatched to give you secrets favor comes when we are obedient to god now if we begin to pray now in the next five minutes which we will do we'll do practical then we'll see we'll test our level of penetration if you can reach heaven in five seconds if you can reach heaven in 30 seconds if you can articulate the mind of god in five seconds sometimes you may not have the whole day you might just have five seconds and you should be able to achieve penetration access and articulation in five seconds in order for you to do that you need favor you you remember what gabriel told um mary when he came from heaven and he said blessed are thou among what favor it is your obedience to god that determines the level of favor that you have in the court of heaven there are several people when the incense of their prayers begin to ascend to to heaven ah the elders begin to disturb god that's him again and in the prayers he gets summoned to heaven and he will hear the whispers of the elders the stakeholders nothing is hidden from him once his aroma begins to come there if that's favor 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 you see god does not have favorites god has intimates yes because it's not as if it's okay i like this one, i don't know when you become intimate with him he bestows upon you favor so you can see men like moses that can go and tell god because of me do this because of me he, he takes advantage of the favor that he has in the court of heaven the second question we need to ask is your level of obedience your level of obedience your level of obedience most of the prayers i've been praying are prayers of personal breakthrough personal deliverance i stopped praying those prayers long ago and now i pray the prayers of god yeah so you begin to hear for some of you it might be strange strange for you to hear the way we are praying for Benue state the way we are praying for nigeria you say well is it needful don't worry we we are functionaries that are adapted eh, to servicing the altar of heaven hallelujah i say hallelujah so there's a favor element there's a response to the intercessory call there's a need to be diligent in obedience and then there is a favor element that bestows upon people that are giving themselves to serve his will and to obey his instructions 
if we check your life and you're living for yourself and if we check somebody's life and the person is living for God and then you want a favor from God so you are trying to go before God you will have a lot of challenges but the man that is living for God because he's living for God he has favor two of you are born again he has favor so he has penetration he can access the mind of God easily but you you can be praying 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 and there's no feedback it's essentially because even if feedback comes it will squander on self because that is your orientation it is to that orientation that you have you have aligned so it determines the measure of favor that you carry